Let's go. Yeah. This is the Morning Swim Show for Friday, June 17th, 2011. I'm Jeff Cummings, and we're glad you're with us today because we've got a great show for you. Olympic and Commonwealth Games champion Emily Seabom joins us today in the Finis Monitor from Santa Clara, California. Hi, Emily. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. How are you? All right. Welcome back to, to uh, the United States. How do you like the, uh, the, the weather here? Yeah, it's so much better than back home. At, at back home, it's like 12, so it's really cold. So it's nice to be in the sun and getting a good tan. Have you been uh, sending messages back to your friends at home just saying how nice it is here? I just post like nice pictures of me like lying out by the pool on the deck and they just, they're so jealous. So you're here for the Santa Clara International, which is this weekend. Is this going to be your last competition before World Championships? Yeah, well, it will be, and it looks to be a pretty big one, and there's lots of good names here, and, and it'll be great racing, tough racing, and, and we'll see how it goes. Well, speaking of names, we've got uh, just in that Hunter backstroke alone, we've got Natalie Coughlin, uh, a couple of young Americans, Missy Franklin, Elizabeth Pelton, and the world record holder, Gemma Spofforth. Uh -huh. um, do you have any specific goals just for that race um, going into world championships? I guess because um, I've been so sick lately. I mean, I had swine flu, then I got tonsillitis twice, and then I got bronchitis as well. So I guess for me, it's just seeing where I am against um, the other great swimmers of the world. And then I guess the big one to focus on is worlds. And I guess I just want to see where I am so I know what I have to work on for worlds. Well, I was going to ask you about um, you collapsing on the deck at the Australian trials, which we later found out was because you had swine flu, but you also just said you had tonsillitis twice. Was that after that? Um, that was after um, I got back into the pool uh, after trials. I had a week off and then got back into the pool and then had two weeks of solid training and then got tonsillitis and then had to be out for another five days and then was back in again and then got tonsillitis again and had to have another couple of days out of the pool. So it's been kind of on and off lately of training, but, you know, I'm just looking forward to, I guess, giving me some confidence and giving me the edge to keep going and to keep training hard. Do you think you're back to full strength now? Uh, I don't think I'm back to full strength, but I think that, I guess, what I want is to see where I am, and then I guess it will tell me how much I need to work on and, and what, do I, what I need to do to get better. Well, last summer was really kind of not really your breakout year. We can't really say that you're a breakout swimmer. You were a breakout last year because, I mean, you went to the Olympics, you won gold medals there. But, you know, you, you beat Natalie Cog in the 100 back, you broke 210 in the 200 IM at the Pan Pacific meet, and then you won eight medals at the Commonwealths. Um, how, what, was this all expected? Was, were these your goals or did you kind of feel like it was all going much better than you planned? I guess I, I didn't plan for anything and everything that came that year was just absolutely amazing and, and the Pampax was such a good meet and, and it was great to race the Americans and then we went to Com Games and I guess I didn't do as well as people thought I did but for me I... I did everything that I thought possible and, and more. So, you know, last year was great, and I guess this year isn't going to be a great year for me, but I guess it's all for next year. And speaking of next year, do you think you're going to go for another eight events at the Olympics, or are you going to scale back your program? Um, I'm not sure yet. I still haven't really had a proper talk about Olympics because, I mean, every year is really busy. So at the moment it's year by year, but I guess that's something that I need to work out and, and find out which events would be best for me to do. Well, obviously it looks like two of them that you should swim are the 100 back and 200 IM. Um, those are obviously, I think, would probably, is that safe to say those are your signature events? Uh, it's probably safe to say that I'll, I'll do those events, I guess. It all depends on trials next year and depends how Alicia's swimming and how Steph's swimming because we have pretty tough com competition in Australia. Yeah, that 200 IM at trials I think is going to be 
one of the biggest races of the meet that everybody's going to be looking at worldwide. Like you said, Alicia Coots, Stephanie Rice, and yourself. Do you yeah. think because it's going to be so competitive that, uh, you know, maybe at that meet, uh, you know, we're going to see three girls go under 208 in the 200 AM? Um, that could be a big possibility. I mean, we're all going to be going for the same spot and we all want to make it just as much as the others. So we're just going to push each other as hard as we can. Well, and speaking of that, Hunter, back to what time do you think at the Olympic level do you think it will take just to win a medal? Just to win a medal? I'm thinking next year it'll be in that 58 mark. Low 59s maybe is maybe bronze that's that's yeah that's definitely very fast <laughs> yeah definitely going to be really fast well i know this this weekend is going to be a, a big step for you to see how next year pans out so um, best of luck to you and um, we hope that um, you'll be able to come back to the u.s and actually see more than just california and arizona <laughs> yeah that would be good yeah we have a whole country that's a, a lot uh very east of here that you ought to see too <laughs> yeah there's lots all right emily thanks for, so much for joining us again good luck this weekend and next month in shanghai thank you all right that's emily sebaum joining us be sure to watch her um at the santa clara international this weekend that's going to do it for our show today i'm jeff cummings thanks for watching